the anamorphic lens effect in DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to teach you how to do it. Let's go. And here we have the clip that we're going to use of this great Bentley and this girl walking here. I'll be sure to put it in the description down below for you to check it out. So let's go to the color tab. And right now we've got one note, but we need a second one and we need a serial one. So we're going to click Alt S. That will add a serial one. The second way to do this is right mouse button and then add node and then select add serial. But like I said, Alt S. Let's open up the effects tab and we need to find the glow effect. We're going to drag it onto second node and we've got some options over here that we need to change. The first thing that we need to change is the HV ratio and put it all the way to max. The second thing that we need to change is the gain. Let's put that all the way to max as well. And you already start to see a difference. Now, what I like to do is I like to match the colors of the lights with the colors of the image. So let's drag this one down and we see a color filter. I'm going to use the color picker. I'm going to put it on top of this headlight, which makes it a little bit more blue. And then I need to change the gamma a little bit to make it more visible. And I want to change the saturation as well to give it a little bit more color. Now the standard value of the opacity is 0 0.5 or a half. You can increase that to make it more visible. But now let me show you how this looks by going back to the edit page, going back to the first part of the clip, click P and I'll press spacebar. There you go. So here we have the anamorphic lens effect in DaVinci Resolve. And that's it. Be sure to subscribe for more DaVinci tutorials. My name is Rick Richardson and I'll see you next time. Doei!